I've been thinking a lot about Rise of the Guardians recently. It's funny, I don't really consider this a, a standout gem in uh, the DreamWorks catalog. It's sitting at a very comfortable two-star right now over on my letterbox, but there's, there's something about it that's just special. There's a reason that this film has been floating around my head for honestly who knows how long. There's a reason this fandom just completely broke the internet. But, but what is it? What is your center? The film's purpose is to get the audience to walk away wondering what exactly they bring to the world. I wholeheartedly believe that everyone was put on this planet for a reason. Nothing happens by accident. That's the main theme of this film. That's the thought that's been swirling around my head for all these years. What is your center and how do you find it? Why I was there and what I was meant to do. That I've never known. And a part of me wonders if I ever will. In the context of the film, Jack Frost wakes up with no memory of who he is or his purpose. All he knows is his name. That's all the man on the moon ever told him. It isn't until Jack meets North does he get pushed in the direction of self-discovery. Who are you, Jack Frost? What is your center? My center? And that my center? There's a tiny wooden baby. Look closer. What do you see? You have big eyes. Yes! Big eyes, very big, because they are full of wonder. That is my center. It is what I was born with, eyes that have only seen the wonder in everything. Eyes that see lights in the trees and magic in the air. This wonder is what I put into the world and what I protect in children. It is what makes me a guardian. It is my center. What is yours? I don't know. This concept of having a center is really interesting to me. And I often think about what my center is. What is it that gets me out of bed every morning? It's kind of a scary thought for me. I just turned 20 a few days ago, and in doing that, I've put immense pressure on myself to have everything figured out. If you're older than 20 or one of my parents or something, I bet you're watching this right now and just laughing. Of course, no one knows who they are when they're 20. Your 20s are that time in your life when you're supposed to figure everything out. That's a completely good and rational way to look at my thoughts and feelings, but I guess in the subject of this topic, my brain just handles it extremely irrationally. I guess I just wanna be at a point in life where I can sit back and really enjoy what life has to offer. I don't want to work some fast food job or worry about turning papers in on time. I want to be out filming and creating and showing the world my passion and who I am in the ways I create. I feel incredibly lucky to know exactly what I want to do in life and exactly who I want to be. I think just the hardest part for me is the thought of when will my life quote unquote begin. It's scary not knowing what my timeline looks like. I know exactly what path I'm walking down, I just don't know when the entrance will open up. Again, I'm completely aware that this is an incredibly irrational way of thinking. I think what makes it an incredibly easy mindset to get sucked into is just based on who I'm surrounding myself with. Several of my best friends are already walking down their paths of life. They've already been given the opportunity to do what they love. Now, don't get me wrong, I am extremely proud of them and brag about them every single chance I get. But selfishly, there's a little voice in the back of my head just wondering, when is it my turn? 
their lives are so much further along than mine. What is it that I'm doing wrong? I know everything will work itself out, it always does. I'm just left wondering, when will it work itself out for me? What really reassures me is that this is the same exact conflict that Jack is going through. <laughs> Remember Rise of the Guardians? That's what we're talking about. This isn't just some convoluted diary entry. Jack loves having fun and really connecting with children, but he doesn't know what that means. When will his life's path open up? He sits and waits, desperately hoping the man on the moon will tell him his purpose. He's given the opportunity to be a guardian, but doesn't fully embrace it. He can't. He doesn't know what being a guardian truly means. He doesn't know his center. Being deliberately told by the man on the moon what his center is won't aid to him feeling complete. Jack's center is fun. North's center is wonder. Everyone has a center, and everyone will find it. This film has really taught me that everyone is on their own timeline, and this isn't something that can be forced or taught. You need to discover. But doesn't the thought of that excite you? You can find your center to be a poet, a musician, or someone who sees the world with childlike wonder and excitement. Through the process of making this video, I think I found my center. I am a storyteller. Videos like these are the stories that I give to the world. You thought this video was gonna be about the 2012 DreamWorks film, but instead it's about me sharing my story. I tricked you. <laughs> There's this channel that I'm sure most of you are aware of called Cinema Therapy. Linked below. They have an entire video about self-discovery through Rise of the Guardians, and I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. They discuss the concept of finding who you are, you must first find out who you're not. There's this fun trial and error to self-discovery. They point out the truth that we are sculpted, not built. Each carve adds to who we are. We just need to keep experimenting and keep discovering. If that sounds at all interesting, please go check it out. Experimenting and discovering is exactly what I plan on doing for the rest of my 20s. I'm really grateful and excited to be in a position to take all of you guys along with me. So, I guess until next time, I'll see you then.